So we've got to talk about politics. So you've got to say, what do you think about UKIP? I think they're completely nuts. Well done. I've come to Rochester to help the Conservative candidate in the by-election to do a bit of delivering and campaigning. I'm a great lover of by-elections and have been to most but not all since uh, 1986 and to really help the Conservative Party get their message across and get their vote out. This by-election obviously caused because of uh, Mark Reckless's abandoning the Conservative Party just before the Tory conference uh, and going over to UKIP and so it's a very interesting, toughly fought campaign, though with very interesting and positive responses uh, from the Conservatives I've met. Will you be voting on the 20th of November? Uh, I will, yeah. Yes, and have you made up who you'll, your mind who you'll be supporting? I haven't yet. <laughs> no? What, what, what issues are you concerned about? Immigration, mm. uh, hospital, NHS, um, yeah, lots of different things I think that everyone's sort of talking about. Well, there's a lot to think about, isn't there? Hello, hello, I'm Jacob Rees-Mogg. How do you do? Oh, I, I've seen you on telly. How mate, nice to see mate, you. Mate, Great to mate. see you. This is good old England. You, you come yeah. down there and you feel you've got away from all the riffraff and the toils of, of society, you know? Well, and I don't know that there are any riffraff oh, in the United Kingdom. It's oh, a society of the most splendid Jacob, people. Where I'm I come, not going to accept where that. I come from, where I come from, my South Norwood, mate, it's, you found people in dustbins. No, I'm a Labour. You're a Labour supporter, always yes, have yeah. been. Yeah, always. It's a family tradition from the Second World War. Oh dear, <laughs> well, we'll have to work up. I can't complain, my family's always voted Tory. Um, I'm Jacob Rees Mogg, oh, Conservative Mayor. Are. Is that a good thing? Um, and I'm campaigning for Kelly for the Conservatives. Wondered if she could count on your support. No. No? 30,000 people in the dockyard. OK, so who will you be you supporting? You closed them down. So you'll be supporting I'm, I'm, Labour? I'm going to vote UKIP. We've been canvassing for UKIP. Oh, OK, oh well, dear. So over here. No, no. no I know, no, no, I'm only pulling your leg. The only Tory I would vote for. Oh, thank you. You should join us as well. People keep on saying that to me, but I'm too dyed in the world of Tory to change. But, um, well, the Tory party's on the way out, do you not think? No, we've survived a lot. You know, been going, been going since the middle of the 17th century in one form or another. I think we'll keep going a few more years, yeah. You said you're Eurosceptic. Oh, very, yeah. yes, yes, yes. What do you think of David Cameron's uh, renegotiation? Do you think it's worthwhile or should we just get out? I think it's worth giving a shot to yeah. because it can't be worse than what we've currently got. Yeah, I uh, just think we should hurry up and try and get a bit of renegotiation, but if it doesn't work, just have the referendum and get on with it. And get on with it. Do you mind telling me how old you are? I'm 14. I think Mark's decision to change parties uh, was peculiar, that he stood as a Conservative in 2001 and 2005, when the party was much more ostensibly pro-European than it is now. And if he could cope with it then, I think it's very strange to have changed party at this late stage, when the argument's being won. The Conservative Party is now a Eurosceptic party. It makes absolutely no sense for Conservative MPs to leave the party now, when with the promise of a referendum they have the ability to get the United Kingdom out of Europe if that is their view.